Hey guys, Silver here, and today I'm going to be opening and reviewing the Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre Monster Collection figures from Takara Tomy. And these two are, of course, hyper-sized figures. They are much larger than the standard Tomy figures. And these two come in very special packaging. As you can see, these boxes are almost so big that I can't even get them in my entire shot here. But here is a uh, hyper-sized Dialga, and you can see this is just the usual Tomy packaging, but these two guys came in very special boxes, and they both look really incredible. I love Primal Groudon and Kyogre, and I knew I had to pick these guys up. So you can see the top of the packages here, just uh, stock artwork along with their names. And along the bottom here, really cool font there, which I assume says their names. And Groudon is monster hypersized figure number five, and Kyogre is hypersized figure number six. And just some more look looks at the packages here. You can see Groudon and Kyogre again, along with the monster collection figure logo. And in the back, you can see the Ultra Ball, which represents the hypersized line and some really neat uh, outline of Groudon and Kyogre here. That looks fantastic. And then the bottom is just plain old text. So I think I will start with my personal favorite first, which is Primal Groudon. I absolutely adore Groudon. He is one of my favorite legendaries. And I went ahead and cut all the tape off already so we don't have to deal with that. And that was perhaps one of the easiest openings ever. Once you get the tape off, you really don't have to fiddle with it. So we got Groudon out, but let's look at all of the fun inserts here. So we have this little like flame background here that I'm sure you could put behind Groudon and make some really, have some really neat photos and stuff, almost like a diorama. That's pretty cool. Of course, we have our Tomy leaflet that comes with everything. And then it looks like we have a special insert for some of the other Tomy play sets. You can see Mega Blaziken down there with his Mega Stone. Looks like just a castle battlefield. But yeah, that is the little insert, and that's pretty cool. You don't normally get that in regular Tomy packaging. So here is our Primal Groudon figure. And this guy is fairly heavy. He weighs quite a bit. But he looks incredible, really. I love this dark black color that they used for his stomach and his spikes that looks great and he is a hyper size figure so some of his uh, parts do move it looks like his arms are movable very very slightly they can't really do much but you can take them off for example and just put them back in like that his legs can also be taken off but I mean you can't these aren't really you can't really move them that much so there is that, and let's go ahead and zoom in here. So you can see his lava face here, and his teeth are right there. Hopefully my camera will pick that up, because they are a little hard to see. And there is his face from the front. He looks fantastic. And all of the detail and the painting on his claws and body look fantastic. I love the lava effect. It looks great. They didn't go too overboard on it. It's just enough and it looks fantastic. And let's see, here is the copyright on the very tip of his tail here. And that's of course a really good place to put it. You're not really gonna be able to see that. And here are his spikes. They are not sharp at all. They are very rubbery, so they're not gonna hurt any potential kids who might poke themselves with it. Here are the Omega symbols on his his legs right here. They look great. 
I don't see any paint errors or any sloppy painting. It all looks, this figure looks really well done. Of course, the sculpting is done great as well. And let's set him down and do a 360 of the figure. And Primal Groudon here just looks fantastic. If you are a fan of Primal Groudon, I would highly recommend this figure as, as he is super cool looking. So there is old Primal Groudon. And again, you could always get that little flame insert that came with it and do some really neat uh, photography shots like that. That's pretty cool. I always like when they include little extras like this. They don't have to include things like this, but it's always welcomed when they do. So let's move on to Primal Kyogre now. And the same old inserts that came in the Groudon one. Don't need to show these again. But this one, of course, also comes with a little uh, leaflet background piece here. And this one is water. And this one looks fantastic as well. So Kyogre's a little harder to kind of pose with it behind him. But that is still pretty cool looking. And here is Primal Kyogre. Right off the bat, he really smells like plastic. I mean, that that smells like it just came from the factory. That is a really pungent, strong, plasticky smell. Of course, it, it's anytime they use translucent plastic like this, that kind of plastic usually ends up smelling really strongly. So if really strong, plasticky odors bother you, I would definitely take that into consideration when you are buying a Primal Kyogre figure like this because normally they do use this translucent plastic and it ends up smelling really bad but hopefully it will air out and when I have it on display and smell less but that is something to keep in mind here but uh, the translucent plastic does look pretty cool And you can see the close-up on Kyogre's eyes here. They look really neat. And he has his flippers that can move, obviously. They kind of droop. <laughs> As you can see from this side, like, this one droops. But um, when you're ha it's gonna, mine's probably going to be on the ground, so that isn't a huge issue. But the joint does seem to be a little loose on my Kyogre. You can see his fin here. That looks really well done with that little yellow piece inside. That looks fantastic. And you can see the yellow on, on the top here, hopefully. That is kind of faint, but hopefully you can see that. And his fins actually have some clear plastic in them as well, right here. So translucent plastic is all over Kyogre, and here is the copyright on the bottom of his fins here. And let's set him down here and do a 360. But yeah, Ky Primal Kyogre definitely looks good. If you are a fan of Primal Kyogre, I would recommend this figure. It is a really neat figure. But I definitely think I like Primal Groudon much, much better. And let's put the two together now. So there are our two Primal Buddies together. 
And I like Primal Groudon, but I am a little bit biased. I just, I love Groudon so much. But these two look fantastic together. They complement each other really well. So if you were to get both, they look good together. But yeah, I got these from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, this was a little while ago, so they are probably sold out. But I will leave a link in the description regardless in case they are just back ordered. So in my last Tomer review of Luxray, I asked you guys which figures you would like to see me review, and several of you gave really good suggestions, like Metagross and Mega Sceptile. So I will be doing Metagross, Meta Metagross, and Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert. Those will be my next re Tomer reviews, and of course I will have a new merch week coming up soon. But if you guys want to see me review any specific Tomy figures, like the Dialga I showed earlier, or Salamence or anything like that, leave a comment below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.